Hello guys, welcome to Professor DK and today we'll be covering an interesting topic which you know some of you have asked uh, in the comments so how can we you know host data on the server and then later display it on our app so today we are gonna see how we can do that let's move on to our session today so the topics for the day today will be you know to create a server so we'll be creating uh, our server on uh, hostinger which is a free web hosting service and uh, later we'll be hosting data on the server which will be in the form of json so and then after that we'll retrieve that data and then display that data on our app so firstly to host any data on the server we need to understand uh, the json format so for that let's uh, move on to what is json so json basically the full form is javascript object notation so you know it seems like a complicated term but it is simply a mere collection of objects and arrays so i'll show you examples which you from which you can understand the concept better and it is used to you know transmit data from the server to the web and it is a simple structured and readable data so this json is actually an advanced version of xml xml was the older version and uh, now nowadays you know everything uses json because it's as i said it's very simple and readable so let's move on to some examples of how we can write json code so as you can see here uh, the this thing the the curly braces basically refers to our object and the square braces refers to the array so basically when we have two or uh, you know more objects so we need to you know specify the you know the object name so this is the object name so under this i have named it as laptop so basically this object label covers all the objects of the uh, name laptop so all this laptops all these objects that you can see curly braces will be embedded in an array so basically this is an object the main main object covering the objects class which is basically in the form of an array with different objects of different laptops so as you can see here i have uh, in the main class laptops i have my laptop and uh, this is represented in the form of a key value pair what is key value pair is basically now if if i want the value of uh, you know the first um, object in the array so basically i have to you know come into this array and if i you know refer to the id laptop then it will return the value hp so this is something called as key value pair you uh, you always search for the key and uh, the json parser will retrieve the value so this is how it's represented and uh, a, m a much more simpler uh, you know json format will be you know this way so basically you have an when you don't have you know different objects you can simply uh, start with an array in which uh, you have a lot of objects so since we are only dealing with one set of objects which are books so we'll be calling them uh, you know book and then you know you'll have uh, the key value pairs and each of these objects you know they are separated by a comma and the end as you can see it doesn't have a comma so this marks the end of uh, the you know end of the array so now if i have to you know reference this i simply call the name and the, in the array i have to you know this is index this object is of index 0 so firstly i need to come into this array if i want harry potter i need to come into this array and uh, provide index as 0 and uh, search for the key book and the value harry potter is returned we'll so let's let's move on to you know uh, a more advanced version of how a json uh, you know uh, data might look like so for that let's uh, open notepad++ so let me just uh, magnify it uh, so i have my magnifier here because simply zooming in uh, the video editing software you know it removes quality so i better just zoom in okay so as you can see here okay the quality isn't you know, so good but anyway as you can see you have uh, the object so it starts with the object 
and as i told you you know if you have uh, you know different set of you know classes so then you need to you know start with an object and then inside this object you know you can have object labels so everything uh, which talks about a laptop can be grouped under the label laptops this is the object label and this object label basically is an array which will have different objects in this case three objects each separated by a comma and the last one does not have a comma and uh, suppose i want another object so basically i call it with the label accessories and then again an array and uh, you know the three values given here separated by commas so each of these you know is a key value pair and uh, you need to you know put all of these in double inverted commas so this is how you you know represent a simple json data it's that simple and let's move on to how we can code this in android studio and uh, before that before we can retrieve any data we need to see how we can upload this data on our server so for that sake let's go to the browser and i just need you to go to this website called as hostinger.in hostinger is a free web hosting service so just go ahead and create an account so go to member area so once you are in hostinger just create your new account so so after entering all your details just create a new hosting account so hosting account is basically you know, so it will redirect you to your dashboard i guess so after this so just click on home i guess that will give us the dashboard okay yeah so you can see that we have our uh, dashboard here okay so confirm so next what you need to do is just go to your mail and uh, click on their confirmation link so once you have confirmed your mail you can see that you will be redirected to this website so here they say that you know your uh, uh, your email has been verified and after that you can set up your new orders so let's just go to setup so we want a free subdomain so you know you can call it whatever you like so i'm just uh, going to go ahead and uh, call it professor dk and you can see that it is appended uh, with the custom uh, um, string dot esy dot es so just choose the server is in europe and yeah there you go you have uh, successfully set up your server on hostinger so so once you refresh you have our this thing our hosting account so we need to go to our dashboard and under our dashboard you can see that there is a column for files so let's just click on file manager and here it says that you know it gives us the details of the uh, ftp which is file transfer protocol uh, our uh, you know the host name username and password so to access our you know files or to upload files onto our server you should uh, you know um, use a third party client called as filezilla but before that uh, let's just check if our website is running so as we had seen before the website name was professor dk.esy.es which was the you know url which got appended to our uh, the name that we had typed so as you can see that our website is up and running it uh, shows that our account has been created so let's just go and uh, upload uh, something on our server not something actually we'll be uploading our uh, <laughs> json uh, file so for that let's you know open filezilla i'll uh, provide the link of this software in the description below or you can also you know click on uh, the link which they have provided in the website as well to download the software so once you downloaded the software it's pretty simple you just uh, need to enter all these details and connect to this server so 
okay let's just wait for filezilla to open okay so here we have our uh, filezilla open so in this in filezilla what we need to do is open file go to site manager and create new site we'll call it we'll call it json demo so here what we need to do next is just go ahead and copy our uh, username host name and password so copy the host name first paste it port number is 21 by default and change this to use plain ftp in the drop down menu change it to normal because it does have a password and instead of anonymous just change the username to whatever is given here so just simple copy paste and then the password whatever you had you know typed uh, when you created the server so go ahead and uh, you know click on connect and uh, as you can see if it has successfully you know um, your credentials have been you know verified then it will give you the directory listing so this is the public html underscore html that uh, we see and the def default.php file which i had seen earlier on the server so now what i'm gonna do is i have this uh, sample json file in my desktop so i'm just gonna drag and drop onto this pane so in this pane you can see that you know the transfers have been finished so all files have been successfully transferred so what this basically says is this sample.json file has been uploaded on the server so if you're asking me what this json file was so this is basically what i had shown you you know previously so it has uh, you know two object labels laptops and accessories and uh, you know the key value pair so let's just check if we have the same data on our server as well and if it's running perfectly so go to the browser and uh, refresh the file should have been uploaded yeah so as you can see here uh, you know you have our file and it also gives the size and also the timestamp so just click on this and uh, you should you know if it has if there's no error you should see that it will work properly you have some uh, error so basically what it's saying is okay we missed uh, you know a comma so since uh, you these are different object labels so i guess you need to provide a comma so let's just give that and then once this is done again you need to you know upload the file so just overwrite that file so overwrite and it should probably you know work now so there you have it so you may not be you know able to see the file in this way because i have uh, an extension called as json view so this basically provides our json format uh, in uh, a you know, proper structured way in a very readable format so so basically this has run without any error so this is how you can you know host data on the server so in the next tutorial we'll see how we can retrieve this file and uh, dem and display it on the app so thank you for watching make sure that you like and uh, subscribe so let's meet you in the next video thank you for watching